Guys, in this video, we're gonna show you how to clean a dryer vent and duct work. Many dryer fires, they are attributed to lint accumulation both inside the dryer and the duct work. In fact, 15,000 fires start annually in the laundry room alone, and most of these fires are attributed to lint buildup in the dryer or a clogged dryer vent, which it makes me wonder why we don't do something about it. So before we discuss the dryer duct work, I want to mention the failure to clean the lint lint screen, the, the trap. Not using the screen or using a damaged lint screen is a problem. In fact, you should clean the lint screen every single time you use the dryer. This lint screen, the one that just is in the top of your dryer, is your first level or first line of defense to a clean lint-free duct. So determining if your dryer duct is full of lint and in need of cleaning is really straightforward. The clue is noticing if your clothes dryer is taking longer to dry a load of clothes than it used to. It might take two or three cycles now to get those clothes dry. <clears throat> that's, a, that's a big clue. So you want the first thing you want to do is you want to inspect the exterior vent. And some of these vents have screens. They're pest screens. And they get clogged up fast. So you want to clean these things monthly. Uh, you also want to make sure that there is no exterior obstructions like bird nests, mouse, bees nests. And then with the dryer running, you want to check the air velocity. And that vent flap should be wide open when that dryer is running. If the flap is barely open or only opens a little bit, then the airflow is minimal and your duct probably needs to be cleaned or shortened. It could have a clog. Uh, another thing is you want to make sure you have the correct vent pipe. Before you clean out your dryer duct, it's a good idea to see if you have the correct pipe installed and if it was installed correctly and properly. That's a whole other article but, uh, or video, but it's uh, inspect, basically inspect the dryer and the rear of the dryer. Make sure that it wasn't pushed in too tight against the wall and crushed the pipe. That could reduce airflow. Um, this condition um, could also create a lint trap. But as far as dry ducts go, they should be UL approved, four inch metal, and all the joints should be sealed with metal foil with the seams up. The metal tape actually seals off the leaks from the system and keeps the airflow more efficient. There should be no sheet metal screws, rivets, or any kind of fasteners going into that pipe as they can trap and connect, uh, li uh, catch lint and obstruct that airflow. You wanna ensure that any dryer ducts that run through unheated spaces uh, or in crawl spaces that have no heat are insulated with insulating foam and, and uh, insulation. An uninsulated pipe will sweat, create frost, result in increased lint buildup and even stained ceilings below. Um, don't exceed the dryer manufacturer's recommended length and, and uh, elbows and things like that. Um, and always vent to the exterior with an approved exterior dryer hood and backdraft damper hood. If you want more information, go to ConcordCarpenter.com. We've written about how to install ductwork and the proper ductwork. Okay, to clean ductwork, you need a cleaning kit. And you can purchase a dryer duct cleaning kit online or at a hardware store for around $40. These kits are designed to be used with a drill and typically uh, give you enough rods, enough flexible rods to clean up to 12 feet of ductwork. The auger-like brush head on this kit is bendable to conform to tight spaces and it actually has a round plastic nose on it. That allows you to navigate in and around pipe elbows. The rotating action of this self-feeding auger brush and its flexible rods, because the rods bend, they scour the entire vent wall surface and allow lint to flow through. And also, um, they make it they, they really do get through the elbows, it's, it's nice. The flexible rods are typically about 36 inches long and you can use uh, these lengths to determine how long and how many rods you need. So as far as steps for cleaning the dry duct, you can start it, if you can do it from inside the house, it's probably safer, but you're gonna need to use a vacuum so you don't get lint dust everywhere. Many dryer ducts come with a special cap that allow you to attach it to the pipe, insert a vacuum hose and insert your flexible rod. So the first step is to determine where you're gonna clean. You're gonna do it from the inside or the outside, and that depends on your, your layout and your situation. Could be a height issue. If the duct is on a second or third floor, you might wanna clean from the inside. Um, you do wanna unplug your dryer from the power source, and if you can, pull it out from the wall from the dryer duct connection, separate it from the duct work. And then if you've got a gas unit, be careful with gas connections. Number two, you want to use, uh, for best control, you want to attach a flexible rod to your drill and set it to spin clockwise. Only clockwise, and I'll get into that in a minute. You want to set your, your drill clutch to uh, the middle setting, and you want to slowly drill and push 
the brush in and out of the dryer duct, basically scouring, like you're brushing your teeth, right? And use a vacuum if you can. If you can't, turn the dry, um, we'll get into that in a minute. You're gonna continue to add flexible rods as you go, and a pro tip, tape your joints with electrical tape over the threaded rod connections, because an accidental detachment of one of the rods inside your duct is not a good thing. By the way, in order, to, the way you get an accidental detachment is by putting your drill in reverse. Do not do that. There is no need to ever run it reversed. All you do is run it forward and, re and backwards and just push it in and out. Um, if you can remove the dryer hood, do that. That's optimal. If not, use a paper clip and clip the flapper open. Another tip is um, when done doing this, cleaning the whole pipe, turn the dryer on and let it exhaust and then run the, the, uh, the brushes through one more time, once or twice really, while it's running and wear a dust mask. This will help clear anything that's loose in the pipe. After cleaning the ductwork, reinstall the dryer, put the dryer hood back on uh, and you're done. If you follow these steps, you're on your way to a much safer and probably faster drying experience. And there are other things that you can do as well, such as you can clean the interior of your dryer unit, the actual dryer, but that's for another video. And it's a little bit more complicated. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and visit, visit us at ConcordCarpenter.com. Take care.